To start off this review, I have to give them a lot of credit for how safely they packaged this up. From bubble wrap to plastic bags to foam inserts and even little plastic corner pieces to prevent the box from getting dented in. This all assured that there would be no damage to the product when it arrived. Setting up the mask is luckily a lot easier than getting through all of those layers. This process consists of installing four AA batteries in the back upper part of the mask. Once you have the battery pack back in place, you then have an on and off switch underneath the bottom of the chin. This makes it really easy to turn it on and off without needing to go back into the helmet, which I'm really glad they included. As for the remote, you will need two AAA batteries, and installing these was as easy as one, two, three. With this remote here, you get a lot of options to control features in the mask. When you push the A button, the mask will open the cool way, and if you push it again, it will close. This is definitely the button I use the most, and is the one you'll want to use when showing off to a friend or anyone else. If you push the B button, the mask will open quickly and more efficiently. This is definitely not quite as cool, however it is much more convenient for doing things such as checking your phone. Pushing the C button takes you from friendly mode into attack mode. So, only do this when you spot an enemy. <laughs> no. As for the D button, this one controls the lights overall, which means you can turn them on and off, which is actually a quite a good feature for them to include since in darker rooms it can be quite difficult to see out of the eyes with the lights on. When you push the E button, you'll probably just assume it's broken or that this button doesn't do anything. However, this one actually controls sound, meaning you'll only hear the difference when you activate the mask. It's definitely useful if you start getting tired of those sound effects or if you're like me and think having the speakers right near your ears is a little bit loud. Speaking of ears, if you tap on the right ear on your helmet, it will open and close the mask the normal way, and if you tap the left side, it will open and close it the cooler way. This is something I'm really glad they included since it's just so much more convenient than using the remote all of the time. And it makes it look so much more high tech. But they also include a very special third option for controlling the mask, and that's using voice commands, or better known as Jarvis. Simply say, Jarvis, open mask. Jarvis, close mask. Jarvis, start combat mode. And for the most part, Jarvis will listen and do as you say. However, I'll be the first to admit that this feature doesn't always work correctly. Jarvis, close combat mode. Jarvis, close combat mode. And that Jarvis is very picky about your word choice. This means if you don't say almost the exact same phrase that they have programmed it with, it will not be able to recognize it and won't do anything. With all of that being said, just don't expect it to be as adaptable as your Google Assistant or your Amazon Alexa. So sometime before this point, you've probably found yourself wondering about that helmet stand and whether it's included since you didn't see me unbox it with the rest of the mask. Unfortunately, this is something that is sold separately, however, it's not just a stand. It's also a speaker that lights up, allowing you to get really hyped up before going to fight crime. Even though the stand is really cool, I have to say I don't think I could recommend it since the speaker quality is just okay, and it's more than half the price of the mask itself, which to me just doesn't seem worth it. However, if you've watched till this part in the video, you're probably a true Marvel fan and will want to buy it anyway. And overall, it does look really incredible and really professional. So now let's move on to actually wearing this since it is a mask meant to be worn. Getting this mask on and off can be a little bit difficult since you have to pop off a back chunk of the mask. However, they've added guiding magnets to help you get it in the right place and when you do, it will click in place letting you know you've done it correctly. While I haven't had any issues with this coming undone while wearing the helmet, I suspect doing things such as intense running will be too much for this kind of attachment and will result in the helmet falling off. The first thing I realized when I put this helmet on my head is it's way too big. Because of this, it immediately began leaning towards the front since that's where most of the weight is distributed and was also threatening to fall right off my face whenever I look slightly down. 
Luckily, it's much easier to fix something that's too big rather than something that's far too small. In order to make this a comfortable fit on my head, I took a neck warmer and folded it in half and put that on my head, kind of like a headband. This seemed to be just the right level of thickness I needed and helped it sit on my head very securely and comfortably. So if you do find this helmet to be too big on you, just find something like a hat, a thick headband, or a neck warmer like me and make it work. So all of this talk about wearing a hat or headband with the mask probably has you wondering how comfortable is the inside? Well, let me just say this. It's definitely not uncomfortable. However, it's never going to win any awards in comfortability. I also find it's important to mention that this product is about 2.5 pounds. So while you might not feel that weight initially, it will start to weigh on you. But let's just call that giving you an authentic hero experience. With all of that said, it's still quite an impressive weight considering the amount of tech that's built into it. Overall, with this product, you get something very unique that you really can't find anywhere else. And while it is much better for displaying and showing off than it is actually wearing it, it's definitely something I'd recommend to any Marvel fan who's willing to spend the money to get this very realistic and beautiful Iron Man mask.